All right guys, Papa Pepper today, out in my natural environment, the garden, and I'm gonna be talking about my Naranjia plants today. And they are some savage beasts. I mean, this is the most savage plant I have in the entire garden. I'm gonna show you why in just a sec. Check out these leaves for one. Do you see that? That whole thing is just covered in giant thorns. And check out that stem. Um, here's a good idea of the stem. Look at the size of that. And that's, that's sharp. Now, I wasn't sure <clears throat> if these are the tamarillos or the naranjillas. As it turns out, they are the naranjillas. My tamarillos are growing over there by the hops on the other side of the batayas. So, as always, I like to check out things that are new. And these are ones that I got from Baker Creek. Rareseeds.com. Uh, you hear me kind of mention them a lot, and part of that is I'm not just trying to grow the regular things that grow in my environment that everyone grows. I'm trying to pretty much if anything will grow in my garden or eventually my greenhouse, I would kind of like to be growing it. If there's some sort of benefit, either uh, food-wise or um, you know medicinally, herbally, something like that. So these guys are ones that I. Uh, bought sight unseen. I never never really checked out the plants there. We were eating some tamarillos there uh, last year and really enjoyed those. And these are somewhat somewhat similar. So wanted to give these a go to. Now they can take a very long time to to bear fruit. At this point we're almost to mid-August but I have flowers. So here's one sitting there in the middle. Here's another one sitting there, and we will see, we'll see what happens. Um, they're from like South America. I got some comfrey growing in between them. And planted two plants here, two plants here, and then two plants here. But I mean, even look at the size of these leaves, right? That's a big crazy leaf. Like I said, super savage thorns. Very interesting. I mean, if this guy does set fruit, you can see these are all going to be flowers, these are all going to be flowers, these are all going to be flowers. Same thing here and here and here and down there. So I'm excited, I'm optimistic. i got some reapers growing on the back wall there. And uh, so eventually this garden here is actually just going to be these apricot trees, which will let grow up into the upper story and kind of lollipop, bring them up on a stem and uh, make them short enough that we can still harvest them. And then I'm going to let the comfrey kind of fill in at the bottom but for right now, I'm growing some some annuals as well, including these guys. So, I don't know. Check that out. Just look at how savage that plant is. So, still excited to taste the fruit. Is that a dried flower? I don't know what that is. Maybe that is a dried flower. Excited to try the fruit. Excited to see what these plants do. I think they're definitely a very, a very interesting thing. A very striking plant in the garden just because they are so savage. They look incredible, but we're gonna see how they do. So, just wanted to give you guys a quick look at these things. I mean, all the way down there, just look at that again, right? Here's the top of it, and look at the bottom of the leaf. Same thing, just spikes everywhere. Some of those are yeah, over a half inch. So, they're getting bigger, and they are sharp. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully this year I can give a, do a taste test and uh, let you know what I think about growing them after the whole season. But right now, they're just getting started, and I was happy to see the flowers, the flowers going, because if I get some fruit, I'm going to be excited. All right, pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.